So today we're taking a look at the Surface Laptop 5, but I've been racking my brain on what to tell you here because it's not really an upgrade, you know? It looks the same, it weighs the same as the Surface Laptop 4, and even though they switched to Intel, in some ways you're actually losing out performance. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Microsoft products. They make beautiful things. There's just something about picking up this laptop, feeling it in your hand. It just feels premium. And don't get me wrong, there's a few things that are omitted from this that should have been here for this price point. But if you have a Surface Laptop 4 right now, you are absolutely laughing because in some ways, your laptop is actually faster than this. Now, it's the same design with the beautiful Microsoft logo in the middle. It's super clean, it's thin. You get the Thunderbolt port on the left-hand side, plus an audio jack and your USB port. And then, of course, you have a Surface Connect port on the right-hand side. So if you've ever wanted to connect your Surface laptop to an external GPU, you can finally do it. But you know what's cheaper than an external GPU? Cloud gaming. You can use this Surface laptop to cloud game, or you can pick up a cloud gaming Chromebook like this Acer Chromebook 516GE from Best by who was kind enough to partner on this section of the video. It only costs $650 and with that you get a beefed up Chromebook that has a 120 hertz refresh display, i5 12th gen CPU and 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD. I tried Microsoft's cloud gaming service and Nvidia's GeForce Now and both services ran beautifully. Microsoft has a massive collection to choose from but only a small amount of those games can run at 120 frames per second. GeForce Now on the other hand can run most of their games to match the refresh rate of this display. The Acer Chromebook 516 GE has nice contrasty colors, a 16 by 10 aspect ratio for more vertical space, and felt very snappy to use. Also a great mouse to go with this Chromebook is the SteelSeries Rival 3 wireless gaming mouse. It has a nice palm shape and very low latency. It's super light and that's over 400 plus hours of battery life. It's a good mouse for both gaming and productivity. Now back to the Surface Laptop. This is still a wonderful piece of machinery to use. You can easily open it up with one hand. You have this beautiful, clean deck with no stickers. Like the sticker guy is not even allowed in the Microsoft building. You will never see a sticker on a Microsoft product, or at least on their laptops. The touchpad feels fantastic to use. It's a really good touchpad, probably one of the better ones on Windows today. I think if Microsoft ever switched to a force touch touchpad, it would just make a big difference. Keyboard is nicely laid out. I do find that the Surface laptop keys are a bit on the mushy side. There's not a lot of keyboard flex, which is good, but I think it just needs a bit more actuation, just so you get a better click when you're pressing down. Now, granted, it doesn't really affect my typing experience. Like I type fast on this, as, as fast as any other good keyboard, but if they wanna improve it, definitely add a little bit more force. The deck is nice and clean. You have your power button embedded into the top function row. There's no fingerprint sensor. The bezels on the display are still really, really chunky. And unfortunately, they did not upgrade the webcam. This is still a 720p webcam. Like this was an opportunity to at least give you a 1080p webcam, especially after a time where everybody was just working from home. Of course, it does support Windows Hello for facial recognition if you wanna quickly log yourself in, but I do appreciate the three by two aspect ratio. There's not a lot of laptops using this. And if you want pure vertical space, this is the laptop to get. It, it just reminds me of how good this aspect ratio is for productivity. It feels a lot more natural. Now the display itself hasn't really been updated. Like you're still getting the same sort of color gamut as the previous Surface Laptop 4. The only difference is that I find this panel to be a tad brighter. The speakers are still coming through the keyboard. They sound fantastic. Obviously there's not a lot of bass, but they're loud, they're clear, and they sound really, really good. Now performance is weird because this is not faster than the Surface Laptop 4. You know, in single core clock speeds it is, but when it comes to multi-core speeds and other types of applications, this thing doesn't lose out big time to it, but it doesn't surpass it. And usually when you go year over year between laptops, you kind of see a difference in performance, but I'm not seeing that at all. Now, if you're buying this for fan noise, it's still relatively low. Like when this is on best performance mode under Windows Powers options, it does ramp up to over 40 decibels, but the beauty of it is if you put it on uh, quiet mode or if you use one of the other profiles, you can keep the fan noise down. Like look, Microsoft is being conservative with the thermals. That's why the fan noise is never ramping up like crazy. You know, when you put this thing under load, the fans kick on, the bass gets a little 
little bit hot, but the clock speeds get reduced in order to keep this thing quiet. It's never gonna overheat, it's just you're not gonna be able to push this compared to other products on the market that use a very equal processor. Repairability, just like the Surface Laptop 4, is slightly better. You can swap out the NVMe SSD inside of here. It's actually faster this year than last year's model, so you do get faster read speeds compared to the Surface Laptop 4. And this is one area where I think an AMD processor would have benefited. You would get better battery life. Not that battery life is bad on this. I'm getting over 10 hours of use before needing to charge. But on last year's Surface Laptop 4, I got over 14 hours before needing to charge. So here's the thing, for the price, there's obviously a lot of other Windows laptops that you can buy that give you more value per dollar, but there's still something really awesome about this. I love the way it feels, I love the way it looks, and just like you buy a Pixel phone to get the best of Android, and just like you buy a MacBook Air to get the best of Apple, I feel like this is still the best of Windows, even though a lot of their products are still kind of behind in the performance department. I will say, if you're upgrading from a Surface Laptop 3 and earlier, this is obviously a good upgrade, but if you can, see if you can find a Surface Laptop 4 on sale, because the differences between these two products are not really much, and you're still getting better battery life, similar performance with the older model. If you have any questions about this device or want to pick up the Chromebook or this, this will be in the description down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.